Hey there. We're continuing our progress through the Proverbs, the Mishle Shlomo, the Life Sayings of Solomon, and we're in chapter 16. We're looking at verses 4 and 5. Here really are two verses to do with the, the way that the Lord makes things and also how he deals with that which is unjust and which is uh, going against his ways. So it says, first of all, that there is nothing outside of the scope of God's creation. God has made everything, even evil, even the evil, evil is within the scope of his creation because he has power over it. And so he says he's made everything according to his purpose. And even those who are wicked will actually be under his control. And he's not, wickedness is not out of control with God. There will be, uh, there will be a payback. There will be a just a moment of justice. We're all people who love justice and we want to see injustice, um, we want to see injustice sorted out, put right. And therefore God has the right to do that uh, with that where there is injustice. And then it says that the, the Lord is disgusted by haughtiness, by the proud, by those who are puffed up. And uh, one of the things that is really serious about haughtiness is it puts a self, it puts ourselves in the place of God. When we are proud, it says, I am more important than God. God doesn't deserve the glory I do. And what it says here is that that person will not be uh, nake. They will not be left um, innocent. They will not be left as if they were innocent. God will not turn a blind eye to what's going on. It's, as he revealed himself to Moses in Exodus 34, he says, nake lo yinake. I will not just ignore uh, I will not call what is bad good. I will not say that something's innocent when it's guilty. And that's what God's saying here. He's not going to turn a blind eye to those who put themselves in the place of God. And so we need to be aware that God is a God of justice and that God is not mocked, that God is not one who uh, we can ride roughshod over and just expect him to turn a blind eye to everything that's done. God is a God of justice and he will make sure that everything is put to rights uh, in his time and in his way because he has made all things. Have a good day.